Hi there, my name is Rodrigo, I'm co-founder of Reporte, and today I'm gonna show you how to use Reporte Control. So, we have here five modules inside Reporte. This is a project inside Reporte, and we have the reports a module that helps you generate reports and take pictures of what happened with your marketing. You, we have dashboards that helps you in the day-to-day -day of your work uh, to help you understand what you can do, what you have to change, how your metrics are performing. And we have timeline, that's a way of showing what's happening in the day-to-day, -day, the story behind the marketing, why you're doing something, what happened in the last meeting, what we are doing to increase sales. So everything you're doing, you put inside a timeline and you can align uh, with your co-workers and with your customer what's, uh, what's the story behind the, what you're doing. We have automation as well that helps us take pictures, you know, uh, take uh, the reports, generate the reports automatically for you in a scheduled way. And we have report take control. That's we are going to uh, go deep in this video. So with those four modules, uh, reports, dashboards, timeline, and automations, we were confident that you could really extract a lot of value from Reporte, that you could be more productive, that you can take better decisions, that you can align better with your customer. But we missed a way of helping you in a proactive way. We missed a way that we could help you uh, understand that something is going to be bad before it goes bad. Uh, we wanted to uh, cheer, uh, we want to uh, be happy with you when you hit a goal. So we created indicator control for that. So what's uh, indicator control? You can create new goals and receive alerts based on those goals and KPIs. So let's select a Facebook ads account here and we're going to create this goal manually. Let's say we want to uh, understand how our spend's going. So I'm going to select the metric spend amount here. I want to analyze this uh, monthly and uh, we have spent 12,000 reais this month. That's our currency here in Brazil. And our goal is to spend 30,000. So what's happening here? Uh, we've spent this money, but we want to spend 30,000 every month. Okay, so that's our goal. Uh, we want to receive alerts based on that. So do I want to receive an alert if we reach that goal? You know, if we get to those 30,000, yes, I want to know that we reached that. I want to know if we missed it. So if we invest less than our goal, probably we are losing opportunities. So we are, I want to know that. Uh, and I want to know if we're going below average. That's probably because uh, something went wrong with our Facebook ads account. So we want to know that we are spending too slowly so I can fix the problem. And I want to receive an alert if we're going too fast. Because if you if you're going too fast, probably uh, there's a mistake in the Facebook ads account and we are spending money uh, in the incorrect way. And that's probably going to lead to low conversions and high spend. That's not what we want. So I'm going to I want to receive those four alerts and then I finish this here. So I have now my first indicator added here. I now monitoring everything that's happening with the money I'm putting on Facebook ads. And every time I reach a goal, I understand it. I receive an email about that. Every time I don't reach this goal, I'm gonna be alerted as well. And if it uh, varies below average or uh, above average, I'm going to receive an alert as well so I can fix the mistakes. So that's budget monitoring, but we can add more things here too. So let's say that I want to understand how my conversions are, are going. So let's say uh, I'm gonna to add a new metric here. This is gonna be uh, total leads. So I'm gonna I want to understand how many leads I I'm going uh, to add this month. So for me to reach my goals, I need a thousand leads, not just those uh, three hundred. So I'm gonna need a thousand leads this month and I'm gonna add this as a goal as well. And if it's go, and if it goes below average or above average, I'm gonna, I want to receive an alert based on that. So I'm gonna add a new goal here. And as an agency, let's suppose I'm an agency and I have a contract with my customer, 
that says that I'm gonna to create five post five posts a week in an Instagram account. So I'm gonna get here posts post count weekly, and I have to fi make five posts a week. This week I've made three already, but my contract says that I'm have to do five. So if I go below average, I have to get with my team and say, hey, we have. Uh, less post than we have agreed upon our contract. So we have to create new things. We have to make sure our process is working, that we have uh, our posts in time, that we are not uh, delayed by anything. So this is a nice way of make sure that you whole team are getting, uh, are doing the work that needs to be done to meet those contracts. So you can add anything you want here and see those metrics uh, pretty easily as a KPI, as something that can just put your eye in this and understand if your project is, is going good or is going bad and you have to do something about it. And the nicest things about this is that you can just share it with your customer as well. So if you want to uh, have the really nice partnership with your customer that you and him can understand what's happening with your most important metrics, you can use Report A Control for that uh, too. So. Uh, this is a really nice way of showing you the report a control, but I'm sure that you really need to put your hands on it and understand it by yourself, trying and understanding how you could uh, add the, the most important metrics of your projects inside report a and really receiving those alerts to, use, to see that it actually helps you on your day-to-day -day work. So uh, I suggest that you enter reporte.com, make your first trial and try indicator control uh, for making sure that uh, you're gonna understand how uh, this can help you in your day-to-day -day life. So this is uh, reporte control. I hope that I could show you uh, how it works and if you have any questions just let me know below in the comments.